coffee, snacks. We're good to go. Nam 2023. Let's do it. Here we go. Welcome to LA. Gotta set the vibe for the video. Since wave it is. First things first, gotta pick up our badge. Then we'll go right in. Oh my God, it was almost too easy. So this thing's crazy, the Argon 8. You heard the ARP, how did it sound? What's even more crazy, it connects to this iPad and anything you do here actually shows up there. So it's like a MIDI analog synth, pretty dope. Check that thing out. What do you guys think of that? Now this right here is interesting, the Mellotron Micro. Look how small it is. I love a good Mellotron. They're simple to use. Not too many crazy sounds. You can combine them, mix them together. It's pretty much the perfect combination. I use the Logic Vintage Mellotron all the time. This thing is dope. <laughs> The Ghost. I just picked one of these up for my Euro Rack module and now it's in a pedal format and that is wild. You have drums and the drums you have eight drum triggers and then you just press, uh, you have a, a kick drum for example, you press it here. So that one, uh -huh, It's like we, the we easiest have, sequencer in uh, the world. Well, in a way, you know. In a way, yeah, once so you learn it, it of just, course. It's right? just so it's, it's the drums are more, more or less it works as like, as, like a 16. We just spoke with Endorphins, checked out the Ghost, checked out some other modules, and uh, excited to put some of those in the rack. Let's go. Yo, yo, here with the homie Major7. What's up? Producer, what do we got? Rihanna, Rick Ross, DJ Cal, the numbers, the numbers you know, go. DJ Snake. Come on with it, you know? We, we, we do this. The homie. Close friend, makes one of the best producers I know, dopest music, stands for a good cause. I just have one question. What's that? If you had to give anyone out there who's trying to pursue a career in music one tip, anything it could be, what would be like the one thing that you would suggest? And it could be about production, it could be about business, it could be about inspiration, lifestyle, anything you want. Man, I got a lot of tips, but if I had to say <laughs> one, that's a tough one. 
You want to get multiple. I'll take I'll multiple. Give you multiple. I'll take tips. multiple, you know? I would say, like, be consistent. Always be a student to your craft. And so that's perfect because this is all about being a student and, like, education and learning. Like, like never get going to anything feeling like you know too much or, yep. or you know more than this person because you can really learn something from everybody. 100. You know what I'm saying? So yep. always listen and always be receptive to knowledge and always continue to grow and, like, expanding your craft. Love that. Because every day that you work and when you work with the intention of growing, then it's like sky's the limit. Because hey. even if you're not good today, you're not good tomorrow, yeah. the day after you might be fired. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're constantly yeah. growing, it's just a trajectory. Yep. So just being a student to your craft, what I, I would say would be the number one tip. And then like I just told you, we talked about building things over chasing things. Love this, and right so here. Always, Listen to this right here. Always focus on like what you're building. Don't always worry about like, I gotta chase this placement because chasing is a losing game. You're always gonna be chasing. But when you're building something, you're gonna become the chase. So always focus on building. And, and if you start now, then you already ahead of me. Hey. I had to learn long, the long way. You feel yeah, me? and that's why we're here trying to spread the knowledge to all of you. So, you know, as he said, Much build, love, build, respect, love that. Check him out. Hit him on IG. Major yeah, 7. Major 7, all spelled out. Easy. So, yo, thank you so much. Oh, man, much love, bro. Respect. You already know. We wanted to stop here at ModBap because they have a dope new module, a filter module out, and a color module that I definitely want to peep. hitting all the stops that was mod bab Corey's super cool makes really really dope modules what did you guys think of that i want to know because that one has got to end up in my rack let's keep rolling This is probably one of the coolest things here, the blip blocks. And it just has so much nostalgia that, that literally reminded me of being a child playing with sounds. Hey. 
All right, so checking this out from Melbourne Instruments, the Nina, and might possibly be one of the coolest synths that I've played here at NAMM. All of these knobs move. Look at the little stress test here. All these knobs move based off the options down here, so you can like switch between them. And you can have different presets, you can go through the ARPs, all the knobs are controllable. is pretty wild. One of the coolest things I've seen. What'd you guys think about that thing? Dope or what? All right. They're still rocking back there, but that is a wrap on this video. We explored NAM 2023. There were some cool synths, some cool products. Hope you all enjoyed the tag along and the vlog. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Links with a lot of cool people. Made a lot of cool connections. This place is wild. And uh, yeah, that's it. So again, thank you for tuning in checking out the content. Of course, it's coming along, so stay tuned. And as always, hit me with the like or sub for the algorithm. We out, boom.